Hi everyone. I have been lucky enough to be here in a secret location with my good mud-loving friend, Cy Fines. And it's thanks to our friend Ard of the channel Mud Bagger that we are here. So please do go over and have a look at his videos and subscribe. And um, yeah, he's not with us today, but we will be thinking of him as Absolutely. we search this wonderful area. So watch this space, everyone. See you later. <laughs> get some luck in the mud. It looks as if it could be military or something similar. So let's see if I'm right. I can feel the design on there. And what is it? Oh, what's that? There's the crown. Maybe it's some. Ooh. It's definitely military. Possibly Dutch. I'll look that up later. Or maybe you know. Maybe you know already. But I shall look it up and see which regiment it comes from. Just found myself a little ring. Ooh. I found a ring on the previous trip we were here and uh, I was hoping I'd find another one. It's not gold, unfortunately, but it's so cute. Let's take a look. See that there? Oh yes! And look, it's ready? Tiny, yeah. He's zoomed, he's zoomed in. Oh, this is baby. Yeah, ready? Yep. Oh, that is gorgeous. Is that a blue stone? I think so. That is so pretty. Isn't that nice? Yes. Yeah, happy with that. That's beautiful. Cute as that, isn't it? That is really lovely. <laughs> well done. And it fits. That's <laughs> no, it's very nice. Just found this. It's like a little hook. I'll be able to use that in my studio somewhere. An ornamental hook. Now I've just spotted something down here. Here, look. It looks as if it could possibly be something. Let's take a look. Luckily, I have my new knee pads on. You'd be totally lost without knee pads here. I'm telling you, you just wouldn't be able to, to do this. Okay, so what's this? Is it gonna be something? Hmm. Maybe a bit of an anti-climax there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was something once. I've been having a little scrape around here and what have we got just here? It is a cufflink. Very pretty cufflink with what looks like a little red stone in it. Very pretty. I saw this little spot here and decided to search around because actually I can see several things with great potential. Um, it started off when I spotted this marble here but then I started to see all manner of other things. So come with me whilst I discover them all one at a time. And there's a particularly exciting one just over there, which I'm going to leave till last. So I've got my marble. And then just down here, what's that? Is that something? Oh, look. Oh, yes, yes. That is beautiful it's like a little heron or something yeah that's like a little heron how adorable is that right i'm gonna put it down on that rock there because right next to it actually just down here it's this 
Okay, so that looks like a handle from a drawer or something. Nice and decorative. And actually the drawers on my chest of drawers in my studio don't have very good handles or knobs on, so maybe I can use that. You can join the heron. Now, there was a coin I also spotted. Which is here. A little coin. And now, for this here, which looks like a bracelet with a name on it. Just hear that. Let's get it out. Oh, da, da, da. oh yes. Wonderful. It's a bracelet, maybe silver. Oh my gosh, has it got... Do you know what? It's actually got what looks like it could be a date of birth on the back. Oh my goodness. 24th of September, 40. And what's the name? Um, something E. Is it honey or something? I can't quite make out that name. There's an A, I think, at the beginning. Oh, Annie! I think it's Annie! Oh, look at that! Annie, born on the 24th of September 40, or something happened then. I mean, maybe she got married or something. Wow, what a beautiful find. Ah, oh, I'm made up. Fantastic. Some sort of buckle here. Wow, what an amazing little sweet spot. I think I'm gonna tell Simon to get over here. Well, Nick, I've got something for you, mate. Woo. I know that you love in the glass collecting, especially the red glass that you find because it's so rare, but here you found quite a lot. And I think I found you the perfect little red eyeball. Oh, that is brilliant. Yes, 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 that's perfect. A perfect eye for a red fish. There we go. Yeah, all yours. <laughs> when you find a gold coin, you can return the favor. I will, I will. I'll uh, go and search for one now. <laughs> So I've continued my scraping in this area and this has just come up now. So what is this? Ooh, now that looks intriguing. Oh goodness, what's on the back? I can't actually read it, I'm afraid. I'll have to take a photograph so I can see it properly. But it looks really interesting. I've seen a gorgeous bottle down here. Beautiful blue bottle. Look at that, isn't it special? Ooh, that is lovely. When I first saw it, I thought it was a piece of blue glass, which would be perfect to make a glass fish. But actually, that bottle, perfect just like that, isn't it? I don't think I'm going to use that to make a fish. Now this looks like another really interesting area. Now I can see things without even doing any scraping. There's a tiny coin here. And look, a little key, a tiny key for a, for a watch or a clock. Oh, what's this? Little tiny flowery thing. And move a little over here. Oh, there's another coin. Oh, and there's a, there's a knife, look. There's a knife here. What's that on there? Let me say something on there. Oh, 
nice! Look at that! That's a beauty! A little pen knife! Gosh! Add another coin here. What's this? A piece of metal. Another little sweet spot. I think I'll have a little scrape around here. little fragments just lying here for years. I wonder who they used to belong to. I've just found this coin. It's really interesting. It's actually a Queen Elizabeth II coin, but it's a one cent. It's from the Caribbean, 1955. this. Look at this delicate, tiny little thing. It's very special. Very delicate. And it's right next to a, a little lead seal as well. Oh, and there is a beautiful marble. Look at this one. Lovely. There's no sun today, it just have to be marble in the air shot. I've also spied another beautiful piece of red glass. And I'm always on the lookout for red glass, and that is a lovely piece. Beautiful. Red glass in the air shot. Tag here, 43 on it. This little coin. I have just spotted the cutest little thing, and it's just down here. Can you see what it is? It's the tiny, tiny little key. Look at that, adorable. Isn't that quaint? Funnily enough, Simon was saying that he wished he'd picked up some of the keys here because there are quite a lot of old keys on the foreshore, so I think maybe I should give it to him as a present. What do you reckon? Pour de something peu something. C'est en français, mais il n'y a pas assez savoir exactement ce qu'il dit ou quelque chose comme ça voilà and ça j'aime beaucoup mais c'est très lourd et je ne sais pas si je peux le mettre dans mon sac parce que j'ai tellement de choses à porter oh. est-ce que je le prends ou est-ce que je le laisse je vais le prendre well, we are going to be leaving shortly, but a lovely find has just popped out over here. Just here, and it looks like a lion. Let's take a look. Yes, it is indeed a lion. Let's give it a rinse. Wow. He is resplendent, isn't he? Maybe part of something military? You've lost your unicorn. What a great find. Take a look at this beautiful 
piece of pottery down here. I just spotted him there, under the water. But this tide is coming in. great to see you. I hope that you're having a lovely weekend. I'm having a wonderful weekend myself. The weather is absolutely beautiful. It's been so hot this week and so I've enjoyed going down to the river in the evenings just to get a bit of a cooling breeze and um, the tides have been pretty good actually in the evening. It's been nice and low and so I've been finding a few lovely bits and pieces that I'll be sharing with you over the next few weeks. So what a wonderful beach and I have to say again a huge thank you to Ard. If you haven't had chance yet do pop over to his channel which is at Mudbagger and see some of the beautiful objects that he has found. Simon and I had a fantastic time and of course if you haven't checked out Simon's videos about what he's found on the magical beach then do go over and take a look. So I was very, very fortunate. I've got a lovely selection of objects here that I'm going to talk to you about. And did you notice the herony theme of that video? And just take a look again at this beautiful miniature heron. I love finding things in miniature and this little guy, I think he's a heron anyway, is absolutely adorable. And I gave the tiny key to Simon and he was very happy with it. So, um, have you ever played this game called the memory game? When I was a child at Christmas, my mother would put a load of objects that she would pick up from around the house, put them on a tray and then cover everything up with a tea towel. After two minutes, we got two minutes to sort of study the tray and try and remember everything that was on the tray. And she'd cover it up, take it away, and we used to have to try and write down as many things that we could remember. Well, for some reason, this tray here of finds that I've got in front of me with the objects that I found during that outing just really reminds me of that memory game. So at the end of this video, I'll put up a photograph of all the finds and you can stare at it for two minutes and then turn it off and see how many you can remember. It's a lot of fun the days before we had tablets and, and uh, iPads and things like that. These old games, we've got to bring them back. Anyway, let's have a look at what I've got next to me. I'm going to start with my absolute favourite find, which is, and you'll probably guess right if you know me, this bracelet here. I think it's silver. I haven't actually cleaned it up yet. But on it there is a name and it is Annie and it also has a date, the 24th of September 1940, which I'm presuming is Annie's birth date. Now I wish that there was a surname. How very inconsiderate that they didn't put a surname on it. I mean, didn't they know that years and years later we'd all be trying to find out who Annie was? But there isn't a surname. But there is a date, so I don't know, maybe it's possible to find an Annie or an Annabelle or an Annette that was born on the 24th of September um, 1940. So if any of you out there are budding sort of ancestry experts, if you want to have a look and see if you can find anybody that sort of fits into that time of birth, then please take a look and let me know. It's always such a lot of fun trying to trace the people whose names are etched 
on objects that we find, like my pewter mug that I found uh, a, a few months ago. But I was a little luckier there because he had a surname and he also had on the mug the name of the place where he worked. Well, the next object, which is actually really interesting, is this one here. Now it's a pen knife and on the front of it, it has ship travel BI and on the other side, it has 1856 to 1956. So a little bit of Googling and I discovered that the BI stands for the British India Steam Navigation Company which was founded in 1856. And so this penknife is to commemorate 100 years service of the British India Steam Navigation Company. So um, one of the more known ships of the British Steam Navigation Company, which is BI for short, was the Uganda, which when it was taken out of service was actually used as a hospital ship during the Falklands War. So there's a little bit of interesting information. But it has the, the BI flag on it, and it's nicely engraved, and it has all the information on it that we need to find out exactly where it came from. So somebody, I presume, bought this maybe when they were on a cruise, and then somehow or other, it ended up on the beach, and years and years later, I found it. We've got this button here and on it, there is a winged wheel and a crown. Now the winged wheel has apparently been used by quite a lot of countries and it's often associated with railways and also post offices. Now, I haven't really had the time to delve too much into this particular button. And so if you have any ideas of what it could be, which uniform it came from, is it military? Is it post office? Is it railway? Then please do let me know. I'd love to hear from you. We've got this very resplendent lion here, a heraldic lion. Lions are also used in many countries and in heraldry. Um, they symbolise courage, strength and nobility. The lion has always been known as king of the beasts. And so here we have this beautiful lion. You often find them on the armorial clay pipe bowls that I find and they are sort of opposite a, a unicorn. So maybe somewhere on that beach there's a unicorn. He's just lost his lion. Now this one has me a little bit stumped, um, this little pendant. I have done some research on it, but to be quite honest, it became a little bit too complicated for a Saturday morning. But I'll tell you what I have found out. On one side of it, there is Clowart Ender Gaius. And I know I've said that wrong. I'll put the lettering up on the screen, um, which I believe is part of a chant from what I managed to find out when I was Googling it. And then on the other side, it has something which I definitely can't read, but it means even condemned to a beggar's level. So what an intriguing little pendant. And I'm gonna throw it out there and say that if you feel like a little bit of research this weekend, and you haven't got anything better to do, I'm sure you probably have, but if you want to have a little bit of a research, please do let me know what you find out about this. It's an interesting um, a design there, the two hands and a wallet. And yeah, generally very interesting overall. I wonder who wore it. But I'd love to know more about its significance and the symbolism on there. So yes, again, if you do find out anything or you know anything about it, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Now, I found lots of coins. It's kind of hard to match them up to the ones that I actually found on the video. But probably the most significant one that I found during that outing was this coin here which is a 1955 coin from the British Caribbean Territories Eastern Group, and it is to the value of one cent. 
I have my lovely blue bottle, which is actually behind me. Perfect little bottle for some nice spring flowers from the garden. And so that's all the finds that I'm going to talk to you about. If you notice that little French piece of pottery, I couldn't actually find it in my um, collection of things that I brought home with me. But if you know what it might have said in its entirety, please let me know. I couldn't resist the opportunity to do a little bit of French speaking, just to show off a little bit. And I have sometimes wondered, you know, whether it might be fun to do a mudlarking video in French, just, just for fun. So if you think that that would be a good idea, just a short one, you know, just a short one. If you think that would be a good idea, then do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Right, well, I think that that is everything in terms of fines. Now, I wanted to give a big shout out to two young men that I met recently on the Thames foreshore and these young men are Felix. Hello, Felix. It was absolutely lovely to meet you and your grandmother, Millie, the other day and see all your finds. And thank you for showing them to me. And also big hello to Finn and Megan, his mum. I had a great time down on the foreshore with Finn. It was a delight to meet you. And I hope that you had a wonderful stay in the UK. It's just brilliant to see young people inspired by searching for history and it always gives me such a lot of pleasure so if you do see me on the foreshore please do come up and say hello and um, it gives me the greatest pleasure to meet you what else have i got to say here oh i wanted to again say thank you to ard uh, it was really lovely of him to share this uh, beach with us and he also gave me a couple of presents and i wanted to say an official thank you they are here look at this brooch isn't that a delight this is something that Ard found on the beach and one of my favorite things ever this butterfly I absolutely love it I'm going to put it in a little frame so thank you very much Ard so don't forget check out Ard's channel at Mudbagger so everyone that is it and Again, I hope you enjoyed that outing. I'm really looking forward to being back again soon with some more adventures, searching for objects on the Thames and elsewhere. And I do hope that you go on to have an excellent week. Thank you so much for all your comments on my videos. And thank you too to everybody who has donated to my Ko-fi account. And super thanks, I truly appreciate them. Now, the last thing is that if you're a fan of my squirrel who visits me on my windowsill, then I think she's gone off to look after her babies because I haven't seen her for a good couple of weeks, but I have had another visitor. And so if you wait right to the end of this video, you'll see my new visitor. And I have to admit, I'm beginning to feel a little bit like Snow White with all these little hairy feathered visitors coming up to my windowsill and I'm thinking maybe I should open the window and they can all come in and help me to do the housework like they do in Snow White because you know I'm Nicola White so I don't know maybe they maybe they're confused maybe they think I'm Snow White anyway on that note I'll stop waffling and I wish you all a good week and I'm sending you lots and lots of love from London see you soon bye bye
unusual squirrel, I think, is out with her babies. But look, look at my new regular visitor. It's Mr. Foxy Loxy. He's a little more nervous than the squirrel, but this is really unusual because usually he just comes at night. But today, he's come for his breakfast. Let's see how close I can get before he jumps off. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, it's such a wonderful thing to have a, a nature filled windowsill. Hello, Foxy. And look, can you see my little fox egg cup just there? <laughs> wow, what a delight to see you this morning. I love London's foxes. They're so ingenious, you know, they they have to search around for food where they can get it. And he looks in really good condition, actually. Hello, lovely. How close are you going to let me get? Say hi to everyone. Off he goes. Well, from me and Foxy Loxy, have a beautiful week ahead. And also, I have parakeets. I think I'm going to start my own little zoo.